right now because they cannot get loans against that land. They can't sell it because there's a cloud on the title by the potential actions of the BLM. So they're going to take a very long time to do this, but they are not going to resolve this. And of course, again, this first came up at, at least two years ago. There was this, this massive uh, move to take 90,000 acres. He goes on to say, and this is a great summary. The governor says, our constitution, the same constitution you have taken an oath to uphold, rests on the principle that governments are created to protect private property owners' rights, not destroy them. This principle is enshrined in the Fifth Amendment of our founding document. The BLM should demonstrate that the federal government still respects private property rights and end this unconscionable land grab. Exactly right. And I'm glad to see Governor Abbott doing this. This is exactly the way the governors of the states or the state legislatures need to be nullifying illegal, unconstitutional actions by the federal government. This is a criminal action, and we need to have state nullification of criminal actions. Whenever the federal government gets out of its bounds of authority, we need to have governors like Governor Abbott has in this particular case stand up to them and say, you have exceeded your authority. Clearly, they have. The Ninth and the Tenth Amendment make it very clear that, they, that we have the authority to stand up and defend our rights at the state level. Only things that have been explicitly granted to the government, the central government, are things that they can do. They cannot infer new powers, and they cannot take our private property. That is very clear. So that is the way forward. That's what we need to see. And we need to understand that just as we see China asserting their ownership of these lands, going out and building airstrips on top of coral reefs, destroying the coral reefs themselves, just as they're doing that, someone needs to stand up to that and say, no, we're not going to allow that to stand. We need to, in the same way, stand up to our aggressive, expanding federal government when it tries to infringe upon our rights and our property rights and take things illegally. Now, when we come back, we're going to have a uh, actually an admission of a mistake that I made about what appears to be a false narrative about a Russian attacks on hospitals. The Russian government has pushed back on the claims that hospitals have been attacked. We're going to look at the claims and counterclaims of that. I think, quite frankly, it is a propaganda move by the American government against the Russian government in Syria. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. Because there's a war on for your mind. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. We try to be as accurate as we can here at InfoWars. Sometimes we make a mistake, and when we do, we want to try to correct that. I reported this last week, and I think we've reported on our website, about the accusations that Russia has shot up, I think, seven between seven and nine hospitals. I call that into question now. Let me give you an example of how this has broken down. Let's take a look at exactly what we've learned and the sources of that information, which we should have done earlier. For example, the Daily Beast has a headline, Russia bombs hospitals and the lefties shrug. Now, their narrative is that the global left has vocally condemned the U.S. bombing of a hospital in Kunduz, but Russian bombing of hospitals in Syria, not a chance. And then they talk about this bombing of the hospital in Afghanistan. They say in, on October 3rd, a U.S. gunship fired on a hospital run by Doctors Without Borders. Well, it was a lot more than just fired on a hospital. This was an attack on a hospital that the, that the U.S. as well as Afghanistan uh, government had known about. They had been notified multiple times about the exact coordinate locations. This is an attack that went on for 30 minutes, a prolonged attack. And they were notifying as this attack was going on the American government as well as the Afghan government. Still, it did not get called off. This is why everyone is so concerned about it. Not only that, but the American government changed their story four times in four days, finally admitting that they did it, but no apology. Then they visited the site to investigate and destroyed evidence. That's why people are so concerned about this. And when we look at what's going on in Syria, maybe it's not a case of them actually hitting these hospitals. It may be a case of the American propaganda machine pushing back in Syria to excuse what they did in Afghanistan. Again, going back to this Daily Beast article, they say this is, there's a gruesomely perfect example of this hypocrisy that has been visible this month on the left relating to the U.S. war crime in Kunduz. They say that 
The Russian forces have carried out no less than four confirmed attacks on medical facilities and deliberately targeted ambulances. The reaction of the left to Kanduz is one of near apoplectic outrage, but among none of the major organizations or individuals of the left will you find even a codicial acknowledgement of the continued attacks by Russia on medical facilities in Syria. Now, the Daily Beast self-identifies itself as a lefty, but I think what they have become is an apologist for the American military industrial complex. Remember this article from last week, The Daily Beast. She kills people from 7,800 miles away. Her name is Sparkle. She operates a drone and she is sick of whiny boys. And she's perfectly okay with dealing out death. And you know what? So is The Daily Beast. And it was interesting that that article came up just a couple of days after The Intercept had run their very long article showing what was going on with the, drug, uh, the drone war, uh, releasing documents that had been uh, classified and showing the details of how this worked. That was a pushback at the time against the revelations of the drug war. And you know, it is not okay, in spite of what the Daily Beast does with this article talking about, they talk about this woman, how she gets up in the morning, she's got a, a dog that is a Sharpay, they talk about her daily routine. It's kind of an NPR type of article. And they have this insight here. You want to date a guy and they just do jobs that seem menial, she said. They gripe, they bitch, they complain about the most trivial things. Most of them are still wrapped up in their idea of masculinity. Yeah, you see, feminist macho makes assassination and murder of innocent people from 7,800 miles away. That makes that all okay, according to the Daily Beast. So they write this puff piece glorifying this female murderer that works for the American government and I find it interesting that they push back so hard against this situation in Kunduz at the same time. Now today, the Russian government has come out and said, no, this didn't happen in Moscow. Moscow has demanded a U.S.-led coalition in Syria to prove or deny allegations that Russia is bombing civilians. Russian Ministry of Defense summoned military attaches from NATO countries and Saudi Arabia and the United States on Tuesday asking the officials to clarify their country's allegations that Russian airstrikes in Syria have hit civilian targets. They say, today we invited military attaches from the U.S., Great Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and the NATO bloc to ask them to give official validation to their statements or to make a rebuttal. Very interesting, because when I continued to look at this, I saw in the Telegraph Talking about, and here's the headlines from the Telegraph article, serious doctors are utterly abandoned after Russian airstrikes hit hospitals. Third paragraph down, they say, when the regime strikes, we hear planes and we know what is coming, said Dr. Mohammed Tanari, the hospital's director. This time, however, there was nothing, just silence, then an explosion. Hmm, that's interesting. Why didn't they hear any airplanes? Well, the explanation that they come up with was, it must be Russia sending in guided missiles. Or maybe it wasn't that at all. And so Russia is calling their bluff. But Tony Cartolucci at Glo Global Research, I think, really nailed it down. And he pointed out that in any war, there's always going to be collateral damage. That's why you want to make sure that you have a justification for going to war in the first place. And of course, why everybody is concerned about what happened in Kunduz is that it wasn't simply collateral damage. It wasn't an errant bomb or an errant missile. This was an attack that continued for 30 minutes. It made it a deliberate war crime. But he goes on to point out that when we are seeing notifications of what's going on and the reports of what's going on in Syria, he says, for example, the so-called Syrian Observatory for Human Rights is actually a single individual named Rami Abdel Rahman. He says he's admittedly sympathetic to those seeking the division and destruction of Syria. Rami Abdel Rahman is also based in the UK. So he's not actually observing anything in Syria. He himself has been observed coordinating his activities with the Foreign Commonwealth Office in London. And the lie from someone who was not even on the scene expanded rapidly from that. But our reporter, Leanne McAdoo, is on the scene of a red alert leak of hazardous material at a radioactive landfill. Leanne McAdoo reporting for InfoWars.com. I'm here with some breaking news. Once again, standing in front of the radioactive Westlake landfill. I uh, just got a phone call from Don Chapman. She's the founder of Just Moms STL, as well as 
St. Louis Radwaste Legacy.com. She called to let us know that right now the landfill is experiencing a leachate leak. It's huge. Dawn, what's going on? There's 10 to 11,000 gallons of leachate leaking right now back in the field down there. Leachate is very toxic. It's from the landfill. It's created from the burning Superfund materials and garbage that are occurring right next to you. It's, it, we understand that a force main broke and the leachate 10, again, 10 to 11,000 gallons of it leaked. That's what you're smelling right now. You're smelling the actual uh, right. odors and emissions from that leachate. Right, and we're not going to be able to stay here too long because I'm literally feeling burning sensation in my chest. 